Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Rebecca, uh, I was just wondering, so Facebook in the States with their Facebook places has just rolled out some new things that's coming to Canada. How do you feel about it? Uh, it's great. We actually integrate with them. So if you're on um, if you're on Yelp and you have friends that are your Facebook friends and your Yelp friends, you can see their Facebook check-ins and their Yelp check-ins. But with Facebook places, don't you kind of monetize in the States? In the future, like they're probably going to be monetizing here in Canada. Do you not think you're going to lose people who are just going to go with one platform when they start kind of offering a similar service? I don't necessarily think they're going to choose just one platform because we have 16 million reviews behind us and even if they have um, Facebook places and even if you can, even if they're offering advertising or whatever it is that they're doing on that platform, um, we're seeing that people are still coming back to Yelp to check out to see if they should actually go to that business. Um, same with like Rubana or Goodbye sites or anything like that, they're still coming back to, to Yelp to check it out. I think we have time for one more question. My question is sort of related. I don't know what I can talk about. My question is around check-ins. First of all, I love Crystal and I love Yelp. So, uh, yay. Um, I love Yelp because I think of it as a review site. And I'm just wondering, from a user standpoint, I, I have to check in on Foursquare, Facebook, Yelp. I feel like I'm checked out by the time I've checked in. Um, so I'm just wondering how you see the future of that. Like, where do you see that going in terms of Yelp? How important is the check-in? And how do you see that sort of rolling out, with, especially with Foursquare, given that that seems to be the one that I can talk about the check-in Sure. I mean, I think, personally, I think that Foursquare is cool if the one thing that you want to do is check in and play games, which I'm sure we're probably going to get into as well. Um, I think the Yelpers who are using Yelp to check in or using other places, um, the reason that they check in on Yelp isn't so much because they want to play games and win badges and things, which is all fun. It's just like one of our many layers of what we're doing um, on Yelp. Um, but I think why people check in most often on Yelp is because then they can show when they write a review that they are you know, a regular at a place because they've checked into it a number of times, which means their review holds more clout than if they than if they don't. Now that system's still a little bit flawed because not everybody has an iPhone or an Android or is participating in check-ins even if they're writing reviews. But that's kind of the way that it feels like um, it is moving towards. Um, we find that people on Yelp, they're not really there to game so much. They're not there to like, I mean, I know I made a joke when I came in like, yay, I'm the Duchess here. But the reason that I love that I'm the Duchess here is because I know when I go back and look at my review of W2, it's going to say that I've checked in here three times. And when somebody else goes to read that review, they're going to see that I checked in here three times, which means I'm somebody whose review hopefully is a little bit more trustworthy 